YouTube. I am Pinstar, and this is City Skylines 2 Strategy and Tactics Quick Tip. So today we're going to be talking about the best form of transportation. Is cars, buses, trams, subways? Mm, close, but not quite. The best form of transportation in the game is pedestrians, aka walking, aka not using up your roads for anything other than your two feet. Getting your sims to walk to their destination is probably one of the most beneficial things you can do for the health of your city and the traffic therein, or rather lack thereof. However, there are some tools and tricks that you might want to be mindful of, especially if you are new to the City Skyline uh, series, that can help encourage your sims to stay on foot and also help keep them out of the way when they are. The one tool, one of the most important tools for pedestrian use is the pedestrian tool, which is criminally hidden in the landscaping menu in a sub menu of the landscaping menu. Here we have the pathways. Now these are available from, from the start. If you, if you're, you know, doing progression unlocks, these are available from day one. So you don't need to spend any development points to get these and they're dirt cheap. Now here you can just build from a, uh, a sidewalk in the same way that you would build a road. Now, most of the time you don't need to build these manually. Every single road in the game, whether you want the to or not, comes with sidewalks. Uh, some are meant to have them, like this road right here, and others, even, even ones that specifically say they have no sidewalks, like this alleyway here, yeah, don't, don't be fooled by that. People can still walk on the sides of an alleyway. You don't necessarily need to grow, draw these all over the place, just essentially trace the, the pedestrian ways uh, from one way or another. Now, problems arise when you have pedestrian crossings. When Sims want to cross a, a road, they will cause a disruption in traffic. Traffic will stop for them. Um, while there are traffic accidents in this game, I have never seen a car on pedestrian collision, so no worries about Hamburger Highway, but it can cause delays, especially if you have a very frequently crossed area. So one thing you can do to mitigate this is under your road tools, after you've unlocked the road surfaces, you can go here to the crosswalk section, highlight the road that you want and right click. And that will remove any crosswalks that you have from there in the area that you right click. If you want to add it back, just lift click and boom, you got your crosswalk back. So doing this can help. However, comma. This now prevents Sims from getting from one side of the road to the other. And not to mention, it doesn't fully solve the problems because some Sims will jaywalk. They will run across and use the crosswalk even though one does not exist. One other way to get them out of traffic and, and onto the road is through the pedestrian paths. The best way to do that is with a, pedest a raised pedestrian crossing. Now they come with a couple of these for you up here, although they're more just for decorative and also cost you upkeep. If you want to really be cheap, you can just use the pure pavement paths. Let me show you how. So what you want to do is click the pavement paths, take the elevation step and click it until it's down to the smallest bar like that. Now hook onto one road and click, left click. Now what you want to do is hit the page up button. See how the elevation is going up? Do that until you're at 6.25. And draw it out to three, four tiles or so. That should get you high enough, because if you do it too small, this, it'll get sloped too steep. So we'll do up like that. Now, click once. Now, with the still here, you can draw it across the road that you want. Back down to zero and connected. So now you can have a sim who can now cross this busy highway without going across it. Will that stop them? Not everyone, unfortunately. Don't get me wrong, some of your sims will actually take this path. They will do the legal thing. Thank you, Sasha. You're, you're doing the right thing. You're gonna go up, around, and down and not get in anyone's way. But some of them, despite having this here, some of them will decide to chance it and bolt through traffic like Jeremy Watts here. That's not good, Jeremy. And see how he slows traffic down? You get enough people doing this 
and it can cause serious gridlock for you. So how, how do we fix this? Well, there's another tool in our, in our toolbox here that we can you know, help encourage sims to not bolt and actually do the proper thing. And that is if you make the pathway the direction that they want, because a lot of sims will measure which way they want to take by how far they have to travel. Picking the safe, correct, legal path will cause them to add a lot of distance to their trip. So a lot more people are going to be encouraged to just take the illegal shortcut and dash across your highway. How do we fix that? Well, let's just do it straight up. So you could draw something like this that goes with the length of our of our pathway here. This is more efficient and more more likely that your your sims will take this route. However, it causes problems in the form of zoning. All of these spaces that would normally be attached to this part of Bedford Street are now getting stomped on by this thing and you're losing out on a lot of key zoning here. However, there is a way around this. If you space your path about five or six tiles away from the origin here, you're only going to either be bifurcating the zones or clipping a tiny bit of them, which you'll still get a nice big building growing back there. So if we start up here, we can do our little up and down crossing here without completely annihilating the zones attached to these things. These will actually grow proper zones. And if you space it properly, this whole path will only take up one line of squares, so you're not losing a whole lot of real estate to this pedestrian crossing. Now, that being said, you may want to mirror this on the other side to encourage people on the other side of the road to cross. The last and most drastic measure that you may or may not want to take is just to destroy the offending road here. Like I said, all roads, even ones that say they don't, can be walked on by the Sims, at least at the, at the time of this recording. That includes alleyways. So replacing things with like alleyways and things like that are not going to prevent people from being tempted to cross and jaywalk across your thing. So you may be tempted to just bulldoze entirely and make this the only way that your sims could get over there. So that is a, a solution, though that might encourage your sims to just drive rather than fuss with the pedestrian crossing. This one is probably the most effective that I've found, and I would highly recommend using it to help your sims get from point A to point B without bothering your vital artery, arterial roads here and your highways. So in our next episode, I'm gonna go over how to make use of the fact of that you have sims on foot and how to punish the Sims that steadfastly cling to their automobiles. So if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya!